Good morning everybody. This video is being made on a Friday morning. I doubt very much it will get uploaded till about Sunday. Um, I've been uploading overnight the video I made of the making of this yesterday. I woke up this morning it had done 11%. It's a 2 gig video because it's in HD. But if I upload direct from my phone, I don't think I can change the uh, quality setting, which is stupid, but never mind. So, I'm just going to unmold, and we'll do the cut. I still haven't got a name for this yet. I haven't thought about it enough, so over this weekend it will come. The title of this video might even give the name. By the time it uploads, and by the time I've got round to doing it, I'll probably know. So. It's Friday! I like Friday. because olive oil is a lot thicker than a rapeseed. Rapeseed and sunflower are very similar in their makeup, but olive oil isn't. On these liners, these are um, from eBay, and they're used to, they're like for cake. Really good. So you have like a, a centimetre diameter, so if you're doing like, cake frosting, I mean like a icing or something like that, it gives you a guide, but I'm not, they're used for soap, and that's really lovely, so cool, I got in touch with a company to have some silicone moulds made up to go inside my new moulds, and before you've even started they want 115 quid, and that's obviously to make the die for your mould, but I don't want to pay that, they were like, I got three for £24, I think, something like that. The only next thing I've got to do is get a um, log splitter. I am kind of desperate to get one of those. friend of his down in Devon. That was great fun. So these are quite wide bars. Again, my new ones. So tough with these moulds, it you know, it, they really are great, the ones you can find online, but if you can make them yourself, then even better. I don't like to fork out hundreds of pounds for something I can make for Probably half the price. You're a little bit savvy with your wood and 
you're willing to have a go, then you can save a lot of money by doing it yourself, can't you? I've got the clean up to do from yesterday, yeah? I, well, the last soap I made, I've got another one to cut after this, so I'll do two videos, otherwise it'll be too long. Um, I made magic porridge pots, so I've got, I didn't, I went, went to film it, but the camera went dead, the battery died, so I can film the cut. So, next thing to make is my log splitter. So I'm just waiting for some ideas of how to tighten the string through the middle of my block. I'll explain that in another time what I want to do. Bloody hell. Okay, I know this is going to be hard, but this is really hard. Right. I have left it for a long time. There you go, look. Looks like something off the Mr. Men, the colours. I don't know where my head is there, but it does to me. Okay. Just trying to get this a bit thick edge. Let's have a sip of coffee. <laughs> My coffee tastes a bit like soap this morning, yeah? It's interesting because he put Joaquin Phoenix after, obviously, you know, Gladiator and everything. He kind of really confused people with some of the stuff he did after, especially uh, I'm Still Here. Yes. I thought it was brilliant. Yes. But, but okay, that's what we get for <laughs> making soap with olive oil and leaving it for almost 24 hours before you cut it. this has come out. I love the colours. So yeah, that'd be a success. Yay, yay, yay. Okay, so I'm going to cut a couple on the tank and then I'm going to save a couple so I can take some pictures of the logs for the Facebook page because I think it's lovely to see um, soap logs. I love them. So, let's do a couple. Take my pics and then do another video for the next one. So let's uh, do an end piece. olive green clay in there. That's the olive green clay base. Which is nice. Good. Just got hold of some more Dead Sea mud as well today. Some of the actual 
nice thick dirty mud so I'll be using that again I use it in my potion 8 soap and I need to make it again so I got some of that um, I have by bought uh, dried in the past but I decided to buy the um, actual mud again this time because it's just nice to use in soap just have to um, watch out for the water content and stuff because it's quite wet but you don't need too much isn't that lovely that's a uh, one ring ball in there so it smells good too it's similar to what spoonly woods used to be like but um not exactly the same look at that they're like kind of like 60s art or something they look like to me i love some loves them quite a nice big batch and I shall cure them up for a couple of weeks before they go on sale it won't be too long probably by the end of the month because there was a water discount in there too so they should be all right in a couple of weeks I find that my soaps cure within about two weeks they're really lovely to use I mean they obviously get milder as time goes on but you know after two weeks I think that's pretty good as possible. So we've got enough for some sample sizes. So kind of the idea was to get a river with rocks, so river rocks, and then the mustard I just liked the colour, that tobacco-y colour I mentioned. But I was referring back to the Northern Exposure episode where Maggie goes down the river on her 30th birthday. So I wanted that idea. And I was just using up some balls, but they kind of uh, kind of look like moons, which is quite nice. It's just lovely when it all comes together. So I do the two ends and then I can take pictures of the two nice bits. I'll just do this one and then I'll stop the bid. So yeah, I'm impressed with them. I think they look cool. crooked lines so you get some drastic sort of effects rather than just the pencil thin lines so I've been doing a lot of that and um, when I did it on a video I noticed a lot of other people started doing it as well <laughs> but it is really effective so it's there now so if you're going to do videos on YouTube and you don't want people to take your ideas um, well don't do videos on YouTube <laughs> don't do them Otherwise they will, because it's what it's there for. You know, I don't mind. I don't mind people doing that, but I don't want them to copy my range or anything or my colour scheme, but the idea and the technique is there. So, you know, each to their own. But, yeah, I don't mind sharing those little tips and tricks. You just don't expect somebody to sort of do the exact same colour scheme or, you know, name their soaps the same. <laughs> I love them, I think these are wicked. Best soap for a while. Get more arty. It's nice to do arty soaps, don't you think? So what you could do is you could put two layers of soap balls in, inside and then pour on and then you'll get lots and lots of circles. So I should try that one day. And remember, you might have to discount your soap batter a bit because there'll be a lot otherwise. These balls here, these dark ones, are bonfire toffee. You won't really be able to smell these balls, though. So. <laughs> that don't sound good to <laughs> Oh, 
Okay. All right. Okay. So I'm going to stop the video and then I'm going to take some pictures. And um, then I'll do another video of the next one to cut, which is Magic Porridge Pot. It's just an oatmeal, milk and honey scent. But it's not the same as Snowdrift. It's similar, but it's not the same. It's a blend. So, I'm sorry, Snowdrift is a blend, but this one is, and it's a straight oatmeal, milk and honey, but a bit more subtle. So, I'll give that a whirl. I'm just going to take the pics, and I will be back for the next video. Okay, see ya.